I just want to talk quickly today about my different dust masks and how well I feel like they work. I've got to make a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a respiratory therapist. I'm just a guy who uses these different um, masks and I just want to tell you what I think of them. Um, if you have asthma or something, you should really consult a doctor and make sure that you're getting the proper protection. This is just for me. This is just how I feel about these systems and they're the ones that I use on a regular basis. I have a very good dust collection system, but I do a lot of work with things that can't be connected to it with rasps and hand sanders and stuff like that. So I do need something to protect my lungs. I get a lot of questions about dust collection and masks because I use Festool. So a lot of people said, well, you use Festool sanders. Why are you wearing a dust mask? Festool is extremely good at collecting dust. I love it. If you're sanding flat, it works very, very well at pulling all the sand particles, dust particles up. If you're on a bit of an angle, basically your wood might only be touching part of the face of the sander, so there is dust that can fly up. If you're sanding for hours and hours, that could accumulate and start to bother you and actually harm your lungs. So even when I'm using Festool, if I'm doing it for a long time, I will wear a dust mask. So over the years, I've used a bunch of different dust masks and I've had different experiences. <clears throat> so this is just a little N95 um, dust mask that just hooks around your ears, goes on your face. If I had nothing else, I would wear it. It has a metal piece that actually <clears throat> bends around the bridge of your nose, which is great. I just find there are sometimes gaps in there and it will allow dust to come around. So if I'm doing something for a short period of time and I have nothing else, I will use these but it's, it's not my go-to mask just because I don't feel like it fits my face very well. So the other system that I use in my garage is one of these Honeywell or 3M silicone masks with the cartridges that can screw on and off so you can switch them to be whatever you want. If you want just dust protection or if you want something for VOCs, um, there's a lot of different options and they have a little filter inside. You can use a, a air compressor to blow the dust out and it'll last longer. Overall, I really like these. I think they protect very well. Um, they're cost effective. They're maybe $120 to $150 to get the whole system, and they last for years. I've been using this particular mask with these filters for about two years, and they, they're working very well right now. And if I'm applying oil, I will wear this, and it does a good job at protecting me. The downfalls of this are if I want a good seal, I feel like I have to have these really tight. I have to have the elastic straps very tight on my face to create a good seal and after hours that can be a little uncomfortable because it is pressing against your face. Also if you get sweat in here it can actually irritate and for me it causes a bit of a rash. The other thing is your glasses. Because this sits on the bridge of your nose the glasses are going to maybe sit out here and can it can distort your vision so that's can be a little bit tough. Um, I guess I could get contact lenses but the way I work right now, I have to have my glasses sitting out here. So overall, I really love these. I think the price is good and they're very effective. There's just a couple downfalls for myself. Recently, I decided to purchase one of these 3M positive pressure helmets and mask and air system. Uh, I'll just be <laughs> straight up. It is expensive. I think this was about $2,500 for the whole unit. I was very skeptical about it because I didn't know how well the positive pressure would work. Um, I just wasn't familiar with how the system operated. So overall, I would say this system is amazing. I have put myself into highly dusty situations and I didn't sneeze at all. That's kind of an indicator for myself. If I sneeze, there's dust getting in into my lungs. I have never sneezed with this system on. The way this thing works is you've got a motor in here and it pushes air through the hose. <clears throat> it pushes air through the hose and into the helmet and creates positive air pressure in here. So air isn't coming in, it's being pushed out. I think the system works very good. Now, the way this is set up is it's like a hard hat. So you've got this piece that goes around your head. It straps on very nicely. It's got the foam at the front, super comfortable. You pull this down. And this will go around your chin, which creates a very good seal because it's very malleable. This will just form fit around your face. 
and then you've got your mask. So you've got your dust protection, you've got your mask, and you can wear your glasses very comfortably inside. <clears throat> the system itself is really good. It's got a lithium battery. It lasts about three to four hours. It takes a little less than an hour to charge. So I feel like that's very reasonable. Inside, you've got a filter. It comes out very easy. These are about a hundred dollars, which is a bit expensive, but they've lasted me over a year almost. You probably shouldn't, but I do. I will just knock the dust out, take an air compressor, blow it out, and it's it'll last quite a bit longer. Um, I guess I shouldn't recommend that, but I do it, and I feel like it's it's a, a really good way to get a little more life out of your filters. Um, so you just put this back on, clip it, clip it down, good to go. And so to put this on, basically you just grab the belt, lock it. helmet on, tighten the back, just pull it around. Okay, if you wear glasses, just wear my glasses normally. Pull it down, good to go. So just turn it on. And it's working. So there's positive pressure going into the mask, pushing air out. And if you need to do something, you just lift the helmet, it's really good. Okay. So you can hear that actually. There's a lot of air being pushed through there. I think it's it's a very good positive pressure. <clears throat> so overall, this is my favorite system. I think it's great that you have the face shield, you can wear your glasses, you can wear your hearing protection, you've got good battery life, got a great filtration system and there are different filters you can get for different applications so i think you can get one for vocs as well um, but it's just it's a great system the biggest downfall is the price if you want to take these covers off they're very easy to take off and just throw a new one on um, this one's just dirty it's just got some dust on it i would say that's maybe one of the only downfalls is you can get dust trapped between here and here. So I've actually thought of maybe not even using it, but I don't want to scratch it. So I just I just replace these a lot, wipe the dust out and keep going. So it's, it's a great system. If you're curious about the efficacy of this product, I think it's amazing. I think it works very well. It's easy to turn on and off. It's easy to put on. It's You can flip up the mask and, and do things, take a phone call, no problem. Um, sometimes if you have this guy on, you gotta take a phone call, you gotta take the whole thing off. This, you just turn it off, flip up your mask, take your call, go back to work. So I really like it. I think it's, I think it's a great system.